Yo, Eram Sports in the building. Happy 2019. It's December 31st. Black Monday, really Pink Monday. We'll get to that. Eight NFL jobs are open. Oh, man. I was surprised about Adam Gaze from Miami. Um, but, you know, you've got the Buccaneers, the Jets, the Dolphins, the Bengals, the Browns, the Packers, the Broncos. So the question is, and the Cardinals, what is the best job out of the eight? You know, that, that's the real question. e Sports, you can check me out on Twitter at e Sports. You know, let me know what you think. We'll throw out some poll questions. What's the best job? Who do you think is going to win Wild Card Weekend? We're going to get to the NFL, NBA, and to the college bowl games. Yes, it's Alabama Clemson in the championship and the chip for 219, January 7th. Clemson looked good. Bama looked good, but Clemson looked gooder. <laughs> I'm making up words. <laughs> Excuse me, your boy. Equal pleasy. e Sports is a little under the weather, but that's all right. So let's really start to think about even the New Year's Six Bowls. We'll talk about that, and we're going to talk about some college football right now. All right? Yeah, e Sports, college football. You got Missouri and Drew Locke battling Oklahoma State right now. But, um, yeah, you know, it's Bama, Clemson, and the championship. Notre Dame, that was a hot mess. They got dominated. Um, and then Bama, only one by 11. Let's give a little bit of credit to, uh, you know, what what uh, your boy Kyler Murray was able to do. Will he strictly go baseball? He can make some more money in football. You know, baseball, with the arbitration and all that, he'll be under a million for a while. He's got that 4.6, but, you know, it's only one point. But three is the signing bonus. So we got Kentucky, Penn State. We got Ohio State, Washington, Texas, Georgia, UCF, LSU. Um, I mean, some pretty good bowl games. The question is, what do you think? Oh, and also Mississippi State. Um, oh gosh, who's Mississippi State playing? I forgot who they're playing. It's a, it's definitely really a hard-hitting game. So uh, Iowa, I think uh, Mississippi State takes that. I think. McSorley will outdo the Kentucky running back. Penn State should win. Um, I think Ohio State will beat Washington to send Irving Meyer off, you know, really well. I like Georgia over Texas. And of course, you know, at the end of the day, I think UCF is going to have something for LSU. Like, no, they don't have their star quarterback, so I don't think they'll win. But I'll say LSU gets surprised. And you know, even though last year UCF beat Auburn, won't go on the two two years in a row. But they should increase it to six for the bowls. And you have five major conferences, right? ACC, SEC, Pac-12, Big Ten, Big 12, and then the at large with the UCF. And that would be fair. So, <clears throat> Bama over Clemson. And I'll, I'll preview that later on. But I, I'll say Bama's going to beat Clemson. I won't give you a score yet. But um, LSU will probably beat UCF. So college football, man, oh man, it's gonna be fun. But let's get to the the playoff bracket. Oh, are you ready for the Super Bowl in Atlanta, Mercedes? <coughs> so the AFC, um, look, my Steelers didn't make it. Clearly, you know I'm upset. Baker tried. We shouldn't have lost to the Raiders. Shouldn't have tied the Browns. We shouldn't have lost to the Chargers. Steelers can't say nothing. So it's the Chiefs, Patriots, um, Texans, Ravens. You have the 3-6 Texans hosting the Colts. I think the Texans will get that done. Should be really close. I think it's going to be last field goal from Kai Fohimi or whatever. 27-26. Andrew Luck's going to ball out. But Watson Watson and Clowney and JJ should be able to edge it out. And Hopkins with a great catch to put him in field goal range for the game-winning field goal. And then the other game... I think the Ravens just have the Chargers number. I don't think Melvin Gordon's going to be healthy. Phillip Rivers isn't looking good. Lamar Jackson is doing hip-hop. And I think the Ravens, they just pounded Gus Edwards and all the running backs. I, I, I really, I think they're getting physical, physical, Olivia newton John style. You know what I'm saying? Lamar Jackson, the satisfaction, crazy action, the black quarterback doing it and making it real. Running and scrambling. He's so real. Yeah, man. Lamar from Louisville. I'll say the Ravens edge the Chargers 26-23. The NFC, 
right? You know what that is, the the one, two, the Saints and the Rams, then you got the Bears and Cowboys. Three, six, the Bears against the Eagles. The Eagles won, they beat the Skins. Skins are a mess. They're not winning until they change that name, homie. Get rid of that owner, homie. Um, straight up racist. But they should have signed Kaepernick too. Same with the Titans. You have Blaine Gabbard as your backup. You'd be in the playoffs if you had Kaepernick. But anyway, so <coughs> you see where I'm going with that. But I think <coughs> you'll see. I think the Bears are going to edge the Eagles. I think the Eagles are going to bring it, though. I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be 20 to 16 Bears edge the Eagles. Not crazy points. Nick Foles will play good, but I just think the Bears, that defense is legit. And I think the Seahawks go to Dallas. Russell Wilson is special okay? Just like uh, Lamar Jackson. I think the Seahawks, they got the three-headed Munster, Carson, Davis, and Penny, but they're running it. And I think you're going to see them a walk or a week in advance. And the Seahawks will beat the Cowboys in Dallas. They beat them earlier in Seattle, but they'll beat them in Dallas. Uh, <coughs> I'd say 27-23. Cowboys offensive line's a little banged up. So that's wild card weekend with the predictions. I got you covered with it. You know what I'm saying? Rock with it. Smooth with it. Do with it. Do to it. Get it done. Number one. You complete. Get the job done. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk some NBA. LeBron's not back yet. He made the comment. Oh, after I won that game and beat that Warriors team, I realized then I was the best ever. Stop it. Maybe you're passing Kobe and Magic and maybe Kareem. Still need one more chip, though, my brother, but you're going to wind up number two without the chip or not, probably. We're going to start respecting the Larson Decreto to Jabbar. Harlem, you know what I'm saying? He knew my dad, Kid Taylor. How about the Bucks? It's the Bucks, the Raptors, the Pacers. I mean, it's kind of impressive what's going on, you know, in the East. And it's time to give Philly, you know, Sixers, Hornets. You see the heat, but the Bucks had the best record, only 10 losses in the NBA. Um, don't know if the Heat, Hornets, and Pistons are going to stay in the playoffs, but you're not sure about the Wizards or, or Brooklyn if you can trust them. You know what I'm saying? But Giannis is definitely, Giannis might just mess around and get MVP. Y'all going to have to give Giannis his props. When you look out west, man, it's still about Denver. And uh oh, who's this you see? Yeah, the Houston Rockets. Not the Houston Oilers, but the Houston Rockets <coughs> are back and figuring things out. Good for them. Clippers are still balling. Lakers are still there. And uh-oh, as the Rockets go, here come the Spurs. So the Western Conference is panning out. Eh, you don't know Sacramento. You know, I, I love what um, Utah starting to ball. Sacramento, Memphis is dropping. But here comes Dallas getting, you know, a little bit better. Um, Luka Doncic, you know, but they do need Dennis Smith Jr. back with Luka Doncic to really do what they need to do. But Sacramento, Fox and, and Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill's been averaging uh, 27 the last like seven or eight games, and he's got about 20 points a game right now. So, oh man, the All-Star game's going to be interesting. And, you know, these teams are definitely doing it, the Blazers. I'd like to see somebody sign Carmelo Anthony, if not the Lakers, maybe the Blazers. Um, that he can make an impact somewhere to help them, you know. He can still be a veteran off the bench scoring like a Vinny Johnson style. So anyway, enjoy the bowl games. Enjoy New Year's Eve. Be safe and sound. Enjoy the NFL playoffs. We do got to talk about these coaches. Um, Marvin Lewis, it was time for him to go in Cincinnati. Um, I thought Todd Bowles kind of got jerked, but, you know, a lot of these GMs needed to go. Like Steve Kine in Arizona, not Wilkes, one year. I mean, come on, what's one year going to do? How about my boy Mike Mayock getting the Raiders GM job? Um, you know, they switched uh, the GM in Tampa and the coach and also in Miami and Gase. So Adam Gase, I think he'll get a job. You know, we'll see if Jim Caldwell gets with the Packers, Mike McCarthy with the Browns or the Jets. But out of the eight teams... Bucks, Browns, Broncos, Jets, Cardinals, um, that's six, Dolphins, and Packers. I'd say the top three jobs to me have got to be Browns, Jets, and, and maybe right now the Packers just because of Rodgers. But, you know, maybe it's 
If you think about a cap and everything, if it's Browns and Jets, maybe that third one is, it's hard. I guess I'd have to say the Packers. I don't think the Bengals, you know, Bengals have a decent roster. Um, they might need a new quarterback. Quarterback. I think there's going to be a lot of quarterback movement in this offseason. And Andy Dalton is not. And do the Colts sign Le'Veon Bell? Remember the Colts, they are so ready for the future. They got like $100 million under the cap. And they got like seven, or no, nine picks. The Browns got a bunch of picks. So do the Niners and still got cap money. The Jets. So where does Le'Veon Bell go? There's not great wide receivers in the draft or free agency. It's going to be a lot. With these quarterbacks, it's basically Daniel Jones from Duke who looked good, Drew Locke, um, uh, Haskins, Dwayne Haskins, and maybe Kyler Murray, um, Will Greer, but I don't think he's a starter. So, you know, the quarterbacks will be good for next year's draft. So there's a lot that's going to happen, a lot of veterans. Maybe they'll finally let Kaepernick back in the league. I doubt it, but, you know, hey, we can all wish. And um, I saw the Steelers stop the drama with... Um, Big Ben and Antonio. Big Ben's got to stop acting like a baby, and so does Antonio. And stop the stuff. You're not firing Mike Tomlin. He's a great coach. Second winningest coach since uh, Bel Belichick since he's been coaching. So show some love and respect. I'm in, I'm out. All right, we're still waiting for Machado and Bryce Harper. And um, Happy New Year. Perch. Bars. From Earth to Mars. Saturn, my pattern. Don't you want to see? You can't really stick the E to poetry. It's heavenly. <laughs>